Hello guys, welcome to my stream. This is Onyx from Onyx Games and I will chat today about Yanoshik 2, which is the game I'm working on it now. Yanoshik 1, uh, it's also something I should mention, it's available on Steam and on GOG. It's completely free, so you can check it out, you can play it, have fun. It's a very similar game to Yanoshik 2, except Yanoshik 2 will be bigger and better and nicer. Uh, what else? Uh, this uh, retro vibe here around me, uh, this is my publisher. Hello, my publisher, if, you, uh, if you're watching it. Uh, by the way, this stream is regular. It's every Tuesday at 7 p.m. But uh, there are also other teams working on their games and they also uh, have streams. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, they, they, they show their games. So you should check it out. They, their games are absolutely great. So uh, check, check out them. Now, uh, back to my stream, back to uh, Yanoshik 2 and back to my, uh, my main theme of the of this of this uh, stream without further ado i want to chat about weapon that i used uh, in the game and uh, there is one very special weapon that i always wanted to use uh, in uh, in my game i didn't use that in yanoshik 1 but i think uh, in yanoshik 2 it will have place well you might think what is it i give you a clue uh, it's um, this weapon is used in all movies about Robin Hood. Um, I've seen that in Rambo 2 as well. Uh, the guy, the Ra John Rambo, shoot out the helicopter with, with that gun, so that was pretty cool. I played recently Tomb Raider as well, uh, and, and they had this, uh, this weapon. Uh, and this is, of course, a bow and arrow. And I have that here. This is it. This is this is the bow and, and the arrow. It looks like that. Everyone could shoot it with that. And uh, what is great about that, you can collect your own arrows uh, in the game. So uh, I think it's um, it's good to have it. It's different than uh, pistols. Well, you couldn't collect uh, bullets uh, from from the pistol, but you can collect uh, collect arrows. So it should be not Jesus. Oh God. Oh, I think I made a hole in my ceiling, guys. Sorry. How did it happen, God? Okay, I need to go on the chair. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, and, uh, God. God, story of my life. Misadventures of Onyx. God, a little bit hot here. Oh, uh, sorry guys about that. I hope you don't mind, but I hope this whole ceiling will not fall on my head now. But anyways, whew. okay, I'm back. I'm back. A little bit too excited there. So, um, well, today we'll chat a little bit uh, about uh, something <laughs> that I wanted to show, maybe in a little bit different way that I planned, but I wanted to show you guys today uh, my third character in Yanoshik 2, which is a vampire. And I plan to add uh, a bow to this character. So he will be shooting, uh, shooting bow. So that's <laughs> that's why I did this whole thing with the bow. And uh, oh god! <laughs> but uh, don't worry, guys. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. So today, I have this uh, character vampire. I never showed that uh, character yet. So um, it will be very interesting to to play and and to show you guys this character. Um, as um, I mentioned on previous stream, uh, Yanoshik uh, is a game where I use legends and lore uh, from Eastern Europe, and uh, vampires are pretty common in, in Eastern Europe legends. So uh, uh, 
this vampire would be kind of very special. And I want to work today with you guys on, on this character and we'll see maybe together what we can do. Uh, I will add um, bow animation and we do a little bit of pixel art. So uh, stay with me, stay with me. Um, so the first step would be really thinking about animations. So for this character, I have few simple animations. We have running, idle, jumping, and why want shooting. And um, so what I will do, I will reuse one of the animations, which would be idle animation. So uh, idle animation is when character is standing and doing nothing, maybe breathing. So he's like standing. And I will redo that animation. I will add bow and uh, he will be kind of shooting from that bow. So we will see how it goes. A uh, couple of things. Uh, with that, um, about code. Uh, but maybe we'll get back to that, actually. Because first, I want to actually uh, focus on the animation and on the pixel art and then we'll do uh, a little bit explanation of code it's not very complicated i will not bore you guys with with coding or anything like that it will be just kind of explanation what what is going on why he's shooting left or right so uh let's go uh, to the animations i use a um, software called um Asaprite. my favorite uh, my favorite uh, little program here. Uh, it's not very complicated. It's just specially designed for pixel art. And uh, uh, it doesn't have many tools as in Photoshop, but it's very, very kind of quick with the pixel art. So I prepared my animations here. And we open the idle animation, which looks like this um it's very small guy um couple pixels actually i will show you how many pixels we have 22 by 16 so he he's not a very big uh, pixel art it's just small small animation right he's just doing nothing standing uh breathing and from that uh, i will make a shooting bow so that's my kind of start point. So let's get to it. If you have any questions, by the way, uh, write me on the chat and I will answer them. And um, <laughs> Digger, I, for I forgot to introduce you. Um, th this is my operator and he will read some questions uh, from the chat. Uh, when I will be very kind of focusing on 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 drawing, uh, Digger might you know read some questions. So, uh, Digger, uh, hello, hello, Digger. Absolutely, hello, hello. Um, for those who are watching us on Steam, I also would like to invite you to come to us to Twitch uh, chat because we are reading those questions from the Twitch chat. So, if there is anyone who is uh, willing to ask anything. I will read that for uh, for the uh, Martin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let's get to it. Let's uh, see what we can do with this animation. And um, I want to reuse that. So um, basically, I will use just one frame actually from that animation. First, what I should do, save it. Save it. I will save it as shooting bow. And we will delete few frames. We'll just leave one frame, maybe this frame. Okay, delete frame and delete frame. So we have just one frame left. And that's good because animation should be kind of looped. Uh, so let's say if you shooting bow and finish your animation, it should kind of go back to um, seamless to the uh, idle animation. So that's why I leave uh, first frame of uh, idle animation. And uh, we'll add another frame. In this frame, I want to um, 
I want to actually add a bow. So, well, I got new layer here and uh, we add the bow actually in the first frame. That's what we should do. I will use curve tool and we add a brown bow. Let's say something like that, something like that. Uh, oh, sorry, in which layer we are? And we call that the bow. Here we are. So something like that. Let's say that's that's a nice bow, like that. And uh, you will hold that bow like this. So we'll make a little hole there for his hand. And next animation, next frame, next frame would be, I suppose, something like uh, he holds this bow straight so we'll remove his hand like this that would be something like that and uh, he will have his hand straight something like that something like that like that and with the other hand i show a little bit of the other hand as well uh let's say something like that and we add again a bow using curve tool and brown color so something like that all right yep i go with something like this and in the next frame uh, we will make it make it this bow a little bit more curved because he will be shooting arrow. So let's say, okay, we'll do something more like this. Oops. Let me see. Yeah, yeah the bow is more curved and his hand should be a little bit more uh, a little bit more visible i suppose what are we missing digger did you notice we don't have an arrow i was waiting uh on the end <laughs> maybe i'll because um you might remember to add a, an arrow, so I hoped for that. <laughs> and you did remember that. So I, I was I did, waiting I I patiently. <laughs> I think we should add the arrow now. And um, we'll do very, very small arrow. Actually, I will do in the new file, um, let's say, 8 pixels by, by 3 pixels, something like that. Um, let's say our arrow, arrow will be this color. Um, maybe nine pixels. Does yeah. it a red, a red cloak represent something, or you just went with the red color? Uh, it it's very good question because um, in the game you use the the, the red uh, cloak, red cap. Um, well, I'm not sure if you're asking about color, but you use the cap because uh, the vampire can kind of. Uh, fall down very slowly using this cap as a parachute. So uh, that's why he has this cap. So um, regarding color, I just wanted to use very, very strong color. And the strongest color I know, it's just red. Uh, so, um, and maybe vampires have this all connection between blood and red. So yeah, uh, yeah. I think... Um, that was that was my thinking. That was my thinking, right? But let's add this arrow there. Uh, if you would not and... like apply the red color uh, to the cape, then you would have to like make it uh, your outfit to make the mm, the red feeling of the blood like visible on the character. Yeah. Well, what do you mean by that, actually? Uh... Uh... If if you would not make the 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 cape red, right? Yeah. Then you would not, you would be missing the red color. Yeah. 
So your outfit would have to be red to make the uh, blood feeling from uh, coming from the vampire character. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Something should be red anyway there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But I went for the cap, for the pelerine, uh, so to say. And uh, I'm quite happy with the... He, with yes, he, he is a vampire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is. He's a vampire, so... <laughs> That's okay. why the, the cape is red. <laughs> Let's see with this arrow. Um, all right, so he's putting arrow there. That's where the arrows goes almost like that. And his hand should be a little bit, I think, uh, higher. Something like that. Yeah. And and I think I think we should actually do a little bit animation of that cap because it looks very stiff. This uh, idle animation had the cap and this cap was kind of waving on the wind. So maybe we should uh, add a little bit animation there and see what we can do there. Basically, so, raise your shoulder, so there should be like yes, some kind of movement. Yes, raise the shoulder. You're right there. It's a it's a pixel art, and it's very kind of strange type of art because all the pixels are very important. All the all the pixels, you know, and every single pixel is quite important. So, um, sorry, we, is we this the same it. character from the first game? That's uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, we didn't have actually that character in the first game. Uh, in first game, I had just Janosik. That was the main character. By the way, you can guys play this game on Steam and on GOG. Uh, it's uh, absolutely free to play, so you can you can check it out. Uh, but uh, no, we didn't have vampire in uh, um. In Yanoshik 2, we'll have Vampire and Werewolf as well. So three characters, and you can change between them. If you ever played a game called Trine, it had the same mechanics uh, where you can change between uh, characters on the fly, and uh, that's what I want to do, actually, in my, uh, in my game. Um, so uh, working on the cap. Let's see. Maybe a little For bit For me, the, the most uh, difficult part in the pixel art is like holding the proportions. For example, how many right. pixels Something like that. should uh, and hand we'll have. And add another frame. Oh, so, so um, I've and, muted and myself. Frame. Sorry, you didn't hear me. Mm, I was uh, speaking about pixel art. Uh, the most di difficult part for me in creating the pixel art is like keeping the proportions for example how many pixels will you invest into like for example head or how many pixels will you invest into a hand mm. and if you like change the perspective did you ever try pixel art did you ever try pixel art mm, well it's not it's not like for any, any purpose i was just painting something right so yeah when i was trying this it was basically hard to keep the proportions uh, if, I will, if I would try, for example, rotate something, right? If I rotate, um, for example, my hand uh, with 90 degree, right? So it, it's gaining a lot more, more sp it should gain a lot more pixels, right? Because it should. And um, I think it's not a problem with pixel art. In general, if you draw uh, or, or paint people, and uh, it's interesting because, as well, if you have, a, like, a, let's say, animal or, or, or some fantasy thing that you want to, to, to draw, or maybe an object that is not life, uh, you don't put as much attention as uh, when you put them on, on the people. Uh, because when, when uh, well, in normal life, we have mirrors, we, we you know, um, 
very carefully observe each other in the mirror when even in the morning brushing our teeth or anything like that so we're very very careful about that so uh, if you mess with people uh, you will see that straight away there is something wrong but um, for maybe beginners maybe it would be better to draw objects first uh, rotating it's very very kind of difficult uh, thing as well so yeah. uh, um and uh, maybe uh well I, I i i'm i didn't study anatomy but <laughs> maybe that would be good good do, uh, thing to do uh study ana anatomy as well oh actually i have a little guy there skeleton <laughs> so uh so you studied <laughs> yeah yeah that's my guy here. So uh, you could study proportions and, and things like that from, from this guy. I think he's a little bit tall. I'm not sure you could see that, but... Uh, uh... He's tall. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask you about your height. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I put him there, sitting over there, comfy. Let's go back to our animation. Let's go back to our animation. Um, so we're shooting here and... Uh, Oh. Okay, so I think in this frame the hand should go actually quite uh, quite back because he released the arrow. Uh, sorry, I put a little bit black there. The skeleton looks like that dead terrorist guy from the comedy sketch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good, good one, Brickham. Good one. And. Um, uh, I, I really like skeletons in the games, fight with them. It's the most pleasurable uh, enemy to kill, um, especially the sound. Usually they have really kind of nice sound, so uh, I, I really like kill skeletons. <laughs> right, so our, um, our animation has four frames and we need to work on the cap a little bit and uh, maybe on the bow as well. So let's say uh, the hand should be a little bit lower now. Oh, we're here. Two, two. Yeah, the, that, the other hand was great. The only thing we should do, I think, it's the cap. So the cap, I think, should fly, kind of, give impression of movement. So we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll add, we'll add this impression of movement. Uh, so the cab will fly up and I add a little bit of this red. Okay, there we go. So next frame. Next frame would be the arrow is missing, gone. Uh, his hands should go a little bit lower down. And oh, not that layer. The other hand, I think we put it, we put it somewhere here, Let's say like that, and we remove that part but the cap i think should even fly a little bit higher so something like that very good it lives okay. it lives <laughs> and last frame last frame we try to go close to that frame uh, but kind of in the middle with the cap uh, so uh, the cap will go down this time something like that and we I like this, uh, his belt a lot of details despite it's only two pixels I have to agree with that it's, uh... the, the, the details on pixel art they're basically really important right and actually, lack of details, uh, it's, it's very important. 
because with pixel art um it's very very important to give uh, to give people to kind of a space to imagine things so um yeah. it's just two pixels but um you probably think that might be a belt uh, and uh, people see a belt in that so um you know less details um might kind of work kind of positively posit positively in in this case anyway um let's see how it how it looks nice i like the cap and uh, maybe i will just fix the bow here because two frames i think this bow actually should be higher here how fast can one beat the first game the first game two hours for me uh, maybe two and a half but um it depends on the skills it depends on the skills some people will do that much faster and some and, uh, might not even finish the game <laughs> for example me i wasn't able to beat the game <laughs> uh, yep. and uh, well i've seen the guy um, on the youtube and he finished that game in 15 minutes or 13 even uh, that's something amazing it i think you call those those guys speedrunners or yeah, something like speed that runners, exactly and i i presume he knew this game uh he memorized everything yeah or something. i don't know but that, that, that that's the requirement the basically those guys they it's, it's the whole community about speedruns okay so those guys like pick one game and try to find exploits shortcuts uh, mine information from the game and try to use this uh, knowledge to speed up the process of finishing the game uh, and they're beating their records using this so if you, like your game will Art like of, uh, uh, players really <laughs> I, I admire them I, I've seen yeah. that and I couldn't believe and uh, I'm not as good you know uh, in, in my own game we'll see that actually because I want to import that um, shooting bow animation to the game and I will play the game uh, and we see how it goes. But uh, I'm a terrible player. Y you know mm -hmm. that, Tigger. <laughs> You've seen me a couple of times. Oh, I, I saw you uh, last time. You didn't die. It was perfect run and I expect the same this time. <laughs> okay. High, uh, highest expectations today. Yep. Yep, perfect. <laughs> right. I, think, I think we're good with that animation. Um, his shooting bow, his cap is flying there. Very good. Maybe I don't know. Head should should be a little bit. I I should do something with the head. Let's say the first frame. I will move his his head a little bit like this. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. I, I, like I was going to ask you if. Shouldn't the head like supposed to like move a bit? Uh, and but and it now it's, it, it, it looks a lot better, a lot better. It looks it's just one pixel. Can you imagine? It's just I move that one pixel lower, and it looks so much better, so much. Yeah, that, that, that what I meant when I said that one pixel and it's really important because yes, ev yes. every every yes. pixel makes a difference, like great difference, right? Let's save this. Let's export that and import that to the game, and we see. Um, oh, export as a sprite sheet. That's what I should do, and um, I call that shooting ball. And and we uh, will import that to the game. Very good. Add animation. Shooting bow. And we'll import those frames. Uh, let's. It's six frames, I think. Six frames. Very good. Okay. Very good. And. Uh, 
I need to just set up contact points. Apply to all animations. What are those contact points? Um, it's on the bottom there, and it's just contact point with the ground. So oh. if uh, if I set up that in the middle, uh, his legs will sink in the ground. But if I set up on the bottom, it will be just you know perfectly, perfectly, perfectly you know. Um, Mm -hmm. um perfect perfectly uh, aligned it's he will be where he should be so um quick thing um i think now we can just discuss the code nothing nothing very boring uh, it's just a few things that i want to do in the game um and i already actually set up everything so basically when he, the player will be shooting to the right, the arrow will go to the right, and um, he will be kind of facing right, and the arrow will be facing right as well. And uh, when we have player on the left, you know, facing left, so, uh, you know, the arrow will be facing left as well. It's kind of important because uh, if I don't do that correctly, when he will shoot the arrow, uh, let's say to the left, uh, the arrow can hit him. <laughs> so uh, uh, it has to be set up correctly. Uh, shooting left, arrow goes left. Shooting right, arrows goes right. Uh, what else? The monsters can shoot uh, arrows as well. So they can um, kill each other. That's one thing. And also... Um, one thing that I, I I implemented as well in the code is that um, if um, you shoot arrows and you will not hit the enemy, uh, and the arrow maybe will hit a wall, it will stick in that wall, and you can go there and and collect it. So um, it's pretty pretty useful. That bow would be would be pretty useful if you ever kind of you know miss arrows, you can just go around and, and collect them. And uh, and you reuse them again. So um, that's that's the things that I implemented in the code, and um, we'll see how it goes in the game. Uh, the question: so, uh, What game engine are you using? It's called Construct Construct Three. Uh, it's a very easy engine just to kind of learn. Uh, I'm not programmer myself. I uh, I start this whole project, Dianoshik, as a hobbyist, uh, but um, I needed something that actually I, I, I want to, um, I, I need to learn. And that was one of the easiest one. And I stick with that one. It's pretty cool. Construct 3. Thanks, thanks for asking. So uh, I set up a level there. Uh, in this level, um, there are a few rules. We'll use only vampires. He will be able just to shoot arrows. And uh, I want to go from the start to the end. And at the end, there is little, um, I would say, that kind of mini boss spider. Uh, and the spider. And the spider is shooting uh, projectiles. So I have to be very careful there. I'm not as good player as uh, uh, as others, so we'll see how it goes. Other, as I mean, I mean, in my family, I'm the worst player in my whole family. Do we have my sister on the chat, Monica? Uh, if uh, if we have my sister, hello to my sister. Uh, but uh, she she's much better than than I am in any in any games. Um, if um, if she's listening, uh, well, um, uh, she visited me some time ago, and uh, I had a game called Crash Bandicoot. Did you ever hear that about that game? Mm. Crash Bandicoot. It's a platform platformer game. Uh, I played that game on PlayStation One. We were playing that game on, on PlayStation One as a kids, uh, and we had a great time. And um, Reese, well, not recently, couple. Uh, months or or maybe like two years even ago, uh, they re re released that game and they call that uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, Insane and Insane Trilogy. 
So uh, my sister visited me and um, I played that game a little bit and I showed her and I showed her this game and I told her, I, I have this, this game, let's play that together. So she sat down and uh, I, tell, I tell you what she did. I show you my Steam page. Uh, I, I show you my Steam page because I don't have any other game on my Steam account finished like that. Let's see where is Crash. Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy. Yes, that's it. Um, if you see their achievements, 74 of 74. So all achievements there. And uh, that's what she did. I wouldn't be able to, 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 to uh, beat that. Through Trophy Hunter. Uh, did you ever see that game before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you know that. It's a pretty cool game, pretty cool game. I recommend that. I, I played that on PlayStation. And in Insane Trilogy, it's even better because it has three games uh, in, in one. And, uh, uh, and it's quite good price as well. So um, <clears throat> back to my game, back to Janosik. And um, what do we have there? Well, everything is implemented. Uh, we import the graphics and uh, we can start playing. <clears throat> I'm a little bit nervous, guys, because uh, I will see how it goes. Okay, and uh, I have my gamepad. Do we go with the sound? Oh, yes, yes, we go with the sound. Uh, hold on. Oh, I should actually play it and then change that in the... Uh, in here, right. Are we good? Okay, uh, I see this. Oh, yeah, and I hear it. Okay, nice, nice. Very good. Oops. Oh. Okay. Let's let's collect. Oh no! My... Oh come on! They got. Oh, me. you lost the heart. Yes. That was fast. <laughs> Bad sign. Come on. Yes, I got him. So um, I can collect my own arrows, which is good. And I can collect heart, which is even better. <laughs> OK. Let's uh, do something with the spiders. OK. There's a yellow, sorry, a green. <laughs> yeah, did you change that? There's, uh, there was a school, right? That was in the Anoshik uh, one. And well, here it's still work in progress, but I, by, I changed that. I, I've changed that, yeah. I'm not sure if that's even better. It's a subject to change. It might change. At the moment, I have different kind of, you know, uh, steam. Uh, when you a poison gas, when you kill the spiders. Um, and this poisonous gas might kill you. It's very dangerous. So, OK, OK, we could. We're quite good. I collect the arrows. Uh, maximum arrows he can have here it's seven arrows. I try as well to collect those um, um, diamonds and all these things. Okay. So, oh no no! Oh Jesus! What? No! Don't ah. step on him! Oh my God! Okay. Okay. Now, my sister probably, if she's watching it, if she's watching me, is not very proud. But I think she's but... having a great time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's well, rolling she on the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh. Well, yes, I did that. I... Yay, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't collect oh, missed, coins. I missed all the coins. I missed a few coins. I missed them. Okay. Few. I have one heart. I have to find hearts. Okay, it might be the case that I will not win that uh, game. Ah! Oh, Jesus, that was close. But uh, I will try a few more times. So don't worry. 
Okay, I'm not. I don't have arrows, and I'm not going there. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no! No! Ah! You don't have any weapon besides the arrows, right? So you no, have to. No, no, I didn't set up any weapon in this room, so it's kind of you know it's difficult actually. It is difficult. Mm. You yes, have to believe yes, yes. it. But it's, it's very difficult. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's almost impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, okay. We're good here. Okay. Oh, you have to use them. I, I, I don't need that hard. I don't need that hard because. Yeah, you fool. You have to use them to kill each other. That, that yes, is, you can that, use them. Yeah. I, actually, I always yeah. like that thing in, in the game when. Uh, abuse the system. <laughs> yeah, you, you can abuse the system. Like in here, uh, enemies can fight between each other and, and, and things like that. So mm. it, it's. Interesting. I like that. Okay. Next. Oh. oh. What you, okay, you're good. You're good. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, come on. Not good. Okay, I will be very careful here. Yes. <laughs> he didn't watch me. Okay, we, we don't need to kill him, but we need to get hard. And this is a hard part. Okay. He's not watching me. No. Oh, come on. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no, no! The timing! The timing is bad. Okay. okay. I know what I do. There are a few hearts there. No, there is one heart. Okay. Uh, there are arrows on the way you could pick them. I will do that. I will do that, definitely. Nice. <laughs> now we have two hearts. Okay, I try to not lose this heart on the way. Okay, let's see. All right. Hey, we're flying here. Well, Come if on. you pick all the arrows, will be a maxed amount of arrows, right? It's seven. But I'm not going there. Okay. Well, I don't need to even kill them. You know? Yeah. I try to collect. Yes. Five arrows. Five arrows. That would be good. I will abuse the system. I try to <laughs> kind of. Oh, come on. Oh, almost. Ah, okay. Yes, nice, nice, nice. finally. Right, let's kill this yeah. green spider. Yeah. Yep. And we'll have full quiver of arrows. Nice. Basically, from the start, we were missing only one health. Yeah. Not too bad, but I that means I I have really one life because. The other one, when it when anyone touch me, will I, maybe I will you will like right. wait a bit uh, for the skeleton to shoot a few arrows, so you'll be have so you have like oh yes, you're right there. I can I can yes make him shooting arrows and I can steal his arrows. Mm -hmm. That's good strategy yeah. here. Yeah. All right. And if you like run out of arrows for some reason, you will be able to just go back and pick them. Sorry guys, few technical problems, but Digger solved them, and we're back to the game. In the meantime, I was able to kill the skeleton over there, so we have almost clear way to, well, accept those spiders, accept those spiders. But we have few arrows, so let's get rid of those. All right. Oh, there is a quiver. So, and it's not too bad. We have a. Ah, come on. Why do I do those things? Ah! No, run! Save your life! No! Oh! oh. So close, though. <sighs> I, I panicked. I panicked. I shouldn't go near him. I yeah. shouldn't go near him. Especially when you don't have, like, you know, melee weapon. Jesus. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. Wow! 
Oh, that was close one. Almost got a heart attack. Uh, who cr create the music track? Mm, are those from your games? I I switch off the music in this case because oh come on I'm I'm. <laughs> uh, there, there was a question. Who create the the music? Oh, uh, is this, this create the music? Yeah. Um, uh, Johan Junkala. That's a guy from Finland, and uh, he he did amazing amazing job. Well, actually. <laughs> He's working on Yanoshik 2 and uh, um, he, he will produce the new soundtrack for, for Yanoshik 2. But uh, for Yanoshik 1, I just found him on Open Game Art. Um, and um, this track for Yanoshik 1 was there for free. So uh, I, I used that in my game. But the game was free anyway. Uh, and I thought I will I will use that, and I contact him straight away after that because I thought the the, the work he did it was so good, and I want him in Ionoshik too. So Yuhani Yunkala, if um, we have any game devs here, uh, you can contact contact him, and uh, he's really good. He's really good, amazing guy. Nice. So we start. All right, <laughs> we have here we go again. Yeah. Okay, we're flying. Three hearts. We have spare one there, just in case. So uh, I think maybe this time we can do it. Yeah. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> Did you Don't see that? Me. Don't scare me. <laughs> okay. We need few arrows. So let's anticipation. see. Anticipation. <laughs> oh nice okay I think we can now get rid of him well I take quiver but uh, in this case if we miss some arrows I can go back here yeah. and I'm thinking forward oof I thought he will got me and this guy yeah now <laughs> Ah! Uh, in case uh, this would happen, we got arrows uh, on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. Yes. Mm. That was smart move. That yeah. was smart move. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we cannot repeat that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have so much laugh here. Okay, that's hard part. I have to go go down. Oh, okay, doesn't matter. Oh, I collect actually those coins there. I didn't see them. There must be some uh, bug in the game because I have zero coins, but I collect them all. So, but no worries. I will fix that in the uh, in the real game. Real <laughs> game. <laughs> It's not real. It's fake. <laughs> Don't bother. <laughs> yes. It is, yes. I don't know. It's it's pre-production. It's uh, I don't know what what you call this, but it's not <laughs> exactly. On Steam, you can game. call it early access. <laughs> early access, yes, or beta, alpha, pre-alpha, pre-alpha, like pre-alpha. Ah. Okay. All right. And one more. Yes. Oh, nice. Perfect. But do we have an oh, arrow? Right. We have more arrows now. There was okay. a quiver on, on the bottom there. So uh, what we do here? OK, we have to get rid of those skeletons. Ah. So I see uh, there is you... a problem. Like, uh, when you pick a quiver, it disappears. Yeah. And if you, you like, uh, fill your uh, uh, arrow capacity to the brim, Right, right. It doesn't yeah. matter if you like pick one, two, three. The quiver will disappear either way. Oh yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I have six arrows and I pick the quiver, I will have seven arrows, and quiver will disappear. Basically, that's what it is. It will fill um, the capacity up to seven arrows, and that's it. If I want two more arrows, I need to find. 
find them somewhere else or I need to get skeletons to shoot me. So basically the best choice would be like using all your arrows and then go back to, for the quiver. Good strategy. Yeah, I think that would be that would be good if uh, you are a clever player, not as me. Uh, <laughs> then uh, that would be probably good strategy. God, I didn't think about that. Now, the lights are on, but nobody home. Now, let's get rid. Oh, no. OK. All right. Oh, nice. OK. So that's the final thing here. There's a ugly big spider. I will oh. not go close. Oh. OK. Shot him from this like high ground, yeah. No! Oh my god, hit him! Nice. Yes, yes! Oh, come on, come on. How much health do you have? It would be I have... nice to have like health bar for the bosses. It would be. It, and it, I will have I will have that. I will oh, have that in the nice. game. Come on. Oh! No! Survive! I have zero arrows. There's one arrow, in, no, two arrows in the wall. Like Two arrows, yes. I will wait until he's not watching me. Did you miss, like, I don't know, quiver or skeleton, something? I don't know. Oh, nice, nice. One. Ah! Two more. Hit it, hit it. One more. No! Jesus. How? And what I, no. I don't know. I oh. don't know. Look for I the, for the arrows. arrows. Look for the arrows. Let's see if we have something there. The perfect would be like skeleton. The end of this. No. No. Oh, no. no. I took all the arrows I had and I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Not only I'm the worst player ever, but. Uh, <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, what I can do here? I just die. There's nothing. That's why it's pre-alpha, okay? We're testing the I'm game. Like... <laughs> That's why it's early access. No, it's not. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I have enough. I have enough because I tried so many times. Go, go, boss... on, go on, one, one, one more again. I'll put you on the full screen, maybe. You'll, okay. you'll not be on okay. your camera. Okay, let's do that one more time. Maybe I will try to save a few arrows, uh, and uh, as you said... Okay, now don't, don't stress strategy. out, no one is watching you. There is only a game, okay? Yes. <laughs> there is only me and game. Ah, oh. okay. Come on. Right. Oh, there's uh, an idea. Maybe you will add a system uh, where when you have zero arrow, then after some time you're getting one. Oh, ah, that would be that would be clever. Come on, come on. Do we have extra hearts somewhere? No. Yeah, like like a shield or something like that. Uh, that will that can recover by the, themselves. The the, the... The safety system. It's, it's actually a nice idea. I have to agree. But it wouldn't be, you know, as um, as uh, um, here because in the in the game you will have also other weapons and other characters, uh, and they have um, you know bombs, they have uh, axes and things like that. So this this is a very special thing. I just thought to myself, I will beat that game only with Vampire and he will use only bow. But even Vampire will have a couple other weapons. He will have a whip. Oh yeah, he has a solution like this. Yes, so, uh... That's true. Okay. Oh, I think I should actually save some so it's only for this level, so we're like struggling with the ammunition only for this one. Only for this one. 
Uh, all right. Well, let's go though. All right. Now, there we go. Okay, there is only me and game. Only me and game. And I fall down. <laughs> Come only on! Only you and the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's... Oh, that's smart. You're saving the ammunition. Come on, I can't stop jumping. This is. I think that's enough of ammunition. <laughs> We're really safe. <laughs> and I have only seven arrows. And how many? <laughs> oh, the sacrifice! Yes. Do we have extra heart there? No, I, I know. took it. But we have plenty of arrows, that's for yeah, sure. That's, yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. Yeah. Right. Oh, don't, don't pick it. Don't pick it. Go back. There is like. Yes, yes, yes. Smart thinking. Smart thinking. I kill that. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just you and the game. Just you and the game. All right. Nice. He's going up and down. That's good. That's a good situation for me. Okay. Need more arrows. Just quiver beneath you. No, I take those. No, no, you didn't. There's. Okay. I but I had there like I don't know forty arrows or something. Come on. Oh, we're close. I feel like we're close. Okay. Maybe he is immortal or something. Yeah, I, I think about this. <laughs> did, you, did you change, change something? <laughs> he should be dead right now. <laughs> Come on. I heard this expression. Um, oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, Digger, if you would be here, I would give you a five. High five. I'd give you five anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most happy guy ever because I beat my own game. So uh, I think that's it for, for, for the moment with the game. That was great. That was great. Great to have you guys here. Thank you very much for playing game with me. And um, uh, and uh, it was great also to see what we can do together with pixel uh, graphics. So I, I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much for that, guys. Uh, I will see you then next week on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central European time, same time as today. And uh, please follow our uh, Twitch channel and uh, uh, all our social media channels, RetroVibe Games. Uh, also, if you want, you can go to other developers because they have great, great games. Uh, tomorrow we'll have, at the same time, we'll have the Luther. On Thursday we have Project Warlock. On Friday we'll have Biota, and on Monday we'll have uh, Sharkpunkt Verminal. They're all great games. So um, this is it from me, guys. I hope you, I hope you didn't mind this little accident we we had uh, with the bow and arrow. Well, for sure, we learned one important lesson. Never, never shoot arrow and, uh, and the bow inside the room. Oh, my head. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye.